What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. I'm looking at a pile of garbage to my left. We'll get to that in a second. Thank you guys so much that have been tuning into the live streams. I appreciate you guys so much. It feels good to make a goal for the channel once again. We're actually raising for like three monitors and two more mics. They go back into the channel and help me produce content and help me, you know, create and do things with the channel and the streams. I appreciate you guys so much that are giving or even just tuning into the live streams and being there and helping me have a fun time. Thank you guys so much for just hanging out with me and chilling. But that being said, set review. This is by far the worst star pack we've had ever. Star packs are usually a joke, but you you see some kind of chase card in it, right? Like Terror Top, that was $12. We, we had Pallades. We, we had actual cards that, that their market price were somewhat viable for that dollar pack. When you were giving the dollar, you actually had a chance at, you know, multiplying it relatively well. Here we have a total of only four cards that even exist above three dollars and none of them stretch past the five dollar mark and current market value for their rarities that are higher rarities than what are in here this this just ain't a good look we have trickstar light stage and candina you get the slow clap konami for making trickstars more accessible good job great job then we get to the code talker i'll give you that that was a much needed reprint its price should never get too high it's nice to have it in both uh, star rarity common uh, you could have just included that in a structure deck realistically but i guess a lot of the ace monsters end up having some star foil treatment available to them so i'll give you the code talker that that should have been included either way though and then the highest price card in the set altergeist marionetter isn't that a meta defining card isn't that just amazing sitting at a current market price of five dollars oh oh boy so looking at this set as a whole you can see who it targets it targets people who watch the anime who want the chance to open packs because opening packs is usually a great feeling it's nostalgic it's fun you're opening a product but even for that one dollar it just doesn't feel worth it here it's actually crazy how it just feels not worth it's cool that you get all these anime referenced cards in a single pack for a relatively cheap price. That's that's nice. That's cool. But nobody's really looking forward to this kind of a rarity. It's it's even worse, I would dare say, than platinum rare and gold rare. Like nobody's realistically that pumped about it. The only card I can think that ever had some kind of realistic look to it and it was actually shatter foil not star foil was a uh, book of eclipse people were pretty excited about that uh for necros format being the highest rarity for a second before we got the super rares this just doesn't do it not for me and not for casuals here's what you really need to do when crafting this kind of a set give us three new cards at least I get that it would suck to have to go into a set like this for new cards, but if you put them in here, it makes the, the product, even if those cards suck, go up just a little in credibility. I know you don't want to reprint the major cards in here because you're saving them for Megatons. You're saving them for later in the year, maybe Battles of Legend. Uh, I'm not asking you guys to put major cards in and major worth. Give us three new cards. You know what would be nice to see in here? The Goki with the jetpack. That that'd be pretty cool to include. Maybe maybe a real chase card like Subterra Guru. Uh, I know a lot of people would probably like to see it in a little bit of a higher rarity, but at the same time, I think easy access and putting it into a set like this would really help stores sell this. Because let's let's be honest. Let's let's talk you you and me real quick. All the OTS is out there in Konami. How much of this product is actually moving between you guys? How much of this is actually selling? I know it's meant to be cheap. It's meant to not go very fast. It's something on the shelf there, but wouldn't you like to actually have this product move? Subterra Guru, where are you? But just looking overall, it, it's just clear it's meant to go for people who watch the show who want a chance at these specific show cards they want to smell the brains when they open a pack of this and nothing else that's just that's okay 
but there's nothing of value when you're spending your money here it's going to pull the prices down of those three specific cards a little bit i actually don't expect marionetta to fall too much because uh i don't expect a lot of this to get bought let's actually look uh go ahead and look at some of the current cards values trickstar light sage tcg player unlimited near mints around three dollars first head's very close still at three dollars nobody really cares if they're getting this card they want it for their trickstar deck we have marionetta actually sitting straight unlimited at the five dollar mark and our first ed pops up at 575 uh i don't expect this to actually go down too much like who really really wants the starfoil over an ultra rare if their prices end up being similar considering this is the chase card of the set and let's be real for a second uh cap g is probably the reason this deck even is receiving this much attention and this kind of pricing otherwise it would be very similar to the the Veril cards or the the Boral cards I don't know so the squib draw and all of them like it, it would they're secret rares right it would look a lot more like this where they're just so cheap even for a secret rare but no they're up here and cap G being the face of the deck that's all right like I think it's really cool that a fan base gets behind a tuber. There's tens of thousand people watching. They see that he truly enjoys this deck and they want to experience it along with them. And that's pretty much the reason overall for the demand. Uh, no joke. And that's not a bad thing. But uh, we also see the the missing one, Altergeist St Mollusk. Uh, it's, it's sitting actually pretty easy to get still around the five, six dollar mark, but that's really high for a card that doesn't impact the meta and it happens to be missing and you see it's starting to spike already so there's that too uh we look at candina she was a solid three to four three to four you know trading a play set at 10 wasn't a bad move and uh, i don't think this will affect it too much either like people will probably prefer the ultra air to the star uh maybe it goes down to three and the star pack is two which is double the price of your pack that's pretty sad for one of the four top price cards out of a set and uh the cold the talker at four dollars maybe it'll sink to three maybe maybe it won't even be affected i i actually don't think it will be affected this set is just so lacking it's i i've never even star packs in the past I already felt lacked but i've never felt this much despair for a singular set and i'm looking i'm looking for some flare of hope here like here let me let me blow this up with you guys i'm looking for some flare of hope here that i'm missing something that something in here is worth the value besides smelling like you're going into the brains with your boys where we dropping boys into the brains like that's that's kind of what it feels like this pack is just made to do for you and that's not for me maybe it is for other people the price point certainly does help with that a little bit but I, you need a chase card in the set a real chase card and you also need something new i feel like in the future you can't keep doing this like i i don't get how sales are supporting this to continue to happen maybe terror top really helped that much but you know it, it just can't be good for it it, it can't be like looking at all these cards you in the comment section down below are you actually going to buy this or are you just going to ignore it do you actually want something out of here that you are currently missing or could you just go get it yourself because personally i i'm pretty sure i already have all of these cards they weren't that hard to get uh not a single card in here i'm pretty sure comes in secret rarity everything is ultra rarity and below you can at least like toss us something that's not going to be in the mega tins like some secret rares even if they're not the most valuable like squib draw just l actually check out your market check out your product and and decide would i as a consumer want to buy this when crafting the product so thanks for watching everybody i i know it's you know not the happiest video i know i'm being somewhat critical of a product meant more to be casual but I feel like even the casual players, if they wanted these cards, already had most of them. It's not a really free print for anybody, and I personally just wouldn't be spending my money on it, and I want to give my perspective on why and in depth, rather than just saying, oh yeah, this hurts bad, and I don't like this product. Like, you know, I, I, I want to give you a sound argument for what I like and dislike about it, and 
not just skim it over and be like, yeah, yeah, this is trash, kid. Like, throw it, throw it away. No, I, I, I do see where they came from. I see the merits to why they tried to craft it like this. I just personally will not be a consumer of it and i think my audience is also better off saving their money for an amazing product coming up down the road hopefully battles of legend yeah that's one of your best releases ever and i think my audience's money is much better put towards that product than something like this and uh that's what i'll support uh i think kaiba's world was pretty good despite the ratios for the money and i think battles of legends where it's at too